1996. Just as I remember it. A brutal hellscape of violence and lawlessness. And low resolution video cutscenes. How did I ever survive, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Saturday Afternoon Gaming. I'm your host, Gaming Jay, and today we're hopping into Demolition Man. Demolition Man was one of my favorite sci-fi movies from the 90s. Uh, I loved it. It was awesome. It was Sylvester Stallone at his peak in a sci-fi action flick with Wesley Snipes going into the future. A kind of like weirdly naive future, but he's like the badass in the 90s who's gonna like bring them guns, the glory of guns and stuff. I don't know, it's a great movie, has cryogenics and all sorts of cool stuff. Um, and I just felt like, you know, since we're hitting the five year mark uh, on this channel, I just wanted to hop into a game that looked cool and that I definitely wanted to play, and this is the one I felt like today. So this is a pretty cool game. Um, by the way, I love how we are already have Sylvester Stallone and Wesley Snipes here on the main menu. They both played such great characters in this movie. I mean, this, this, just seeing this game makes me want to go watch the movie. But uh, this game has side-scrolling shooting levels and top-down shooting levels. And I have checked it out a little bit before I started recording, and it is not shy about gunplay. So there's going to be a lot of shooting here today. Uh, the 21st century's most ruthless, ruthless criminal against the 21st century's most dangerous cop. The game actually does a really good job of showing you all the controls in-game. So on the side-scrolling levels, you can press the shoot button and aim and shoot in all different directions, which is pretty cool. You can duck and shoot, of course, if that's your thing. You can also uh, break and shoot when you're on the zip line if you want. You can also roll, so you can do a cool Captain Kirk-style action roll if that will get you out of trouble. Then in the top-down levels, there's the stand and shoot, which is what you would basically expect. Here's an interesting feature, though. If you press the jump button and then use the D-pad to aim, you can get into like a locked directional shoot thing. You can also shoot in reverse. The jump button can, can fire in reverse as to where you're moving. You guys will see that when I get to the top-down levels. It's actually kind of a cool feature that I wish more top-down levels had like now that i'm thinking about it like in, in contra and stuff the jump button didn't do anything really on top down levels it'd be handy to be able to shoot while you're like moving in reverse um anyway let's go ahead and hop in here and catch us some wesley snipes now of course i had to play the sega cd version because i found out there was a sega cd version and i love the old attempts to digitize oh this is so bleak and dark just listening to the music and like the hollywood signs on fire like what a grim it's not even future it's our present the 90s it was such a hellscape guys i can't believe i survived um but i love looking at these old movies that they attempted to digitize for the sega cd and back in the day this would have been like pretty revolutionary like think of it like people are playing like mario brothers and stuff sonic the hedgehog and then you have literally sylvester stallone jumping out of a helicopter Send a maniac to catch one. and yeah i mean it just it just looks great it looks cool i mean yes it, it does look cheesy and stuff but oh man you don't get 90s action like that anymore everything's all cgi now they don't they don't do stunts like that anymore although actually one movie that has really 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 grown on me in recent months i guess uh, and I, I didn't, I don't even quite know how it happened, but have you guys seen Mad Max Fury Road? Like, that movie is freaking awesome. When that movie came out, I didn't even bother seeing it in theaters, because it just kind of sounded and looked a little dumb to me. Like, like, and I was totally wrong. I was an idiot for not going to see it, because that movie is actually a great movie. Um, it's got great action. It's, like, oddly got a really good story, good characters. It's, like, such a visually told story, too. Like, there's almost no dialogue. The game or the movie virtually doesn't need it. And the reason I bring it up is because Mad Max Fury Road actually has very few CGI effects. It's almost all practical. There's like a few points in the movie where there's some clear CG. But the director, who also is an ex-surgeon, by the way, like go figure. Um, the director 
Uh, he specifically did not want to uh, did not want to use CGI. He said things look more real when they are real, and so he wanted to use uh, practical uh, practical effects and practical stunts. And I mean, the movie is just great. So it's like I say, you know, they don't make them like that anymore. Well, most of the time they don't, but some people still do. So good old George Miller, director of, ha of Happy Feet, who made uh, Oh God, Run from the Sea Four, who made. Uh, Mad Max Fury Road, you know, if you want some old school 90s action, check that out. Anyway, that was the first level. We just kind of blew through it. We were hunting down Simon Phoenix in his abandoned warehouse full of his thugs who were busy committing crimes. We're going to go ahead and save him from the C4 because we are a cop. Because we do good even when the bad guys do not. Simon Phoenix and John, John... So John Spartan is Sylvester Stallone in this game. He's the main character of the movie as well. But John Spartan and uh, uh, Simon Phoenix have such an interesting relationship in this movie because they hate each other, but they're also kind of like old friends. It's very... It, it's a great movie. It's just, if you haven't seen it, check it out. But what basically happens is John Spartan here got framed. Uh, it looked like he blew up the warehouse and there were all these civilians that were in the warehouse But what the cops didn't know is that Simon Phoenix had already killed the civilians So John Spartan didn't do anything wrong, but nonetheless, they're putting him into a cryo prison Which honestly if you were gonna send me to prison Like let's say you're gonna send me to prison for 30 years. I have two options I can either be in prison for 30 years or be cryogenically frozen for 30 years I would a hundred percent take the cryogenic prison because it's like you go to sleep and you wake up and your prison sentence is over, you know? Like, it's it's actually a, a way better way of, uh, of uh, you know, going through the whole process of, uh, of making up for committing crimes, I guess? I don't know. Also, it's kind of interesting in the, in the Demolition Man universe is uh, people, civilians don't just generally cryogenically freeze themselves for fun. Like, if we lived in a world where we were, where cryogenics were sophisticated enough you could freeze prisoners and send them to the future, I think civilians would want to go, too. Anyway, what's happening now is Simon Phoenix was released, and he's starting to commit murders, but the year is 2032, and none of the cops have seen murders for, like, 30 years, you know? Like, crime has virtually been eliminated, so the police force is very inept. Um, and so the only way that they can catch Simon Phoenix, right, takes a maniac to catch a maniac, or whatever his line was, send a maniac to catch a maniac. Um, the only way that they can catch Simon Phoenix is they have to thaw out John Spartan. You know, I'm just noticing like a halo connection here too, because uh, the Spartans uh, are the super soldiers in Halo, and isn't John the name of the main Spartan, uh, John 117 or something? Am I totally messing that up? Is, is Am I just sort of uh, taking the name John Spartan and, and slapping it onto Halo in my mind? Um, but anyway, yeah, so the Spartans, um, they're also super soldiers that get sent into high-risk situations, and isn't there a, a Halo trailer that ends where uh, John 117 is being frozen. He's like, wake me when you need me. Kind of exactly what happened here with uh, John Spartan. Anyway, we're getting a very condensed view of the movie here. Have you never seen the movie before? Spoilers, I guess. <laughs> who, who knew that you needed spoilers in a video game? Murder, death, kill. That's what MDK stands for. We got two continues. You look great today. Oh, I love that, uh, that little red alert sound effect. MDK. Yeah. <laughs> so we need to capture, save the hostages and capture Phoenix. All right. Let's do this. This this really makes me want to watch the movie now. Um, another funny thing about the movie is that in the con in the world of Demolition Man, Arnold Schwarzenegger did become president of the United States. So there's some fun future facts for you. And no restaurants exist in the future except Taco Bell's or Pizza Hut, if you watch the European version. Um, there's this interesting thing in Demolition Man where, like, no restaurants exist anymore, and in some versions, it's only Taco Bell that survived. In other versions, it's uh, only Pizza Hut that survived. <laughs> they just they just literally edit out the logo to, to a Pizza Hut in some editions. But I think Taco Bell was the one that I saw in North America. So, hey, you know, if only one restaurant could make it. 
Actually, I was going to say, I'm fine with it being a Taco Bell, but now that I'm thinking about it, maybe I'm not? I don't know. Anyway, this museum is overrun with thugs. What the hell happened? How the hell did Simon Phoenix get all these dudes? This is just a huge dude party. He was like, thaw me out every criminal scumbag dude in the universe. I have a job for them. Okay. So these civilians, by the way, we are the ones we have to save and we can't hurt them. So you just run around shooting everyone. So here's shooting backwards. It's actually pretty cool. To see how it's like he's shooting in reverse of the direction that he's going. It's actually very handy. You can like use this to get very tactical. Oh God, a grenade hit me. Okay. Um, so that was my first death in the whole game. I should say one thing I like about this game is it's very generous with dying. So normally when you die, um, I guess I have to go this way. Normally when you die, uh, you will just spawn a few feet back from where you died and you can just sort of pick up where you left off and, and carry on. So the game is is very forgiving in terms of uh, dying. Um, where do I have to go, by the way? Oh, there's a dude way up here. Okay, I think that just opened a door. But let's see. I feel like I'm kind of lost in this level. So I, I got disoriented when I died. Wait, do I have to go back over here? No, I can't. All right, well, there's guys over there. I'm just gonna try and go over this way. Um, I oh, there's some guys. Okay, fresh dudes. Fresh dudes. Hall of Violence. Oh, we can even shatter the glass. That is so cool. Okay, we need to be careful of the grenade guys because it turns out they're one of the only ways you can die instantly in this. Like, I have a health bar down at the bottom. Oh, these I think are explosive barrels. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to be near those when they explode either. Shoot this guy in reverse. Boom, boom, boom. That reverse shot is so cool. Oh, God. That was Simon Phoenix, by the way. He just got an energy uh, weapon. So in the movie, he gets like a laser weapon from the future. Um, I always thought of Simon Phoenix in this movie kind of reminded me of like the Joker. Like if, if in the 90s you were to make like, uh, you know, a really high octane Joker movie, I feel like like um, Wesley Snipes' Simon Phoenix almost would have fit the bill. Like he's a he's a psychotic and but he is like he kind of doesn't has, have a plan but he kind of does like he's sort of like the Joker and that he just likes chaos. Damn it, we died again. Oh, and it spawns us like right next to the the guys who killed us. All right, blow up the barrel, kaboom! I feel like it'd be more satisfying to uh, kill these guys if they weren't just constantly respawning. Like, this, this is crazy. There's just, like, dudes everywhere lobbing grenades. How are these civilians? These civilians are staying relatively calm given the extraordinary circumstance they find themselves in. Back off! Back off, everybody! Um, that guy is throwing grenades that are just bouncing off the wall. And, oh, God, get away. Get away. Okay. Jeez. Oh, and a health pack. There was a health pack in them dare mirrors. Oh, there's one down here, too. I guess we should get it. Oh, there goes Simon Phoenix. Hey, look at him. He's stuck over there. Did we catch him? I wonder. Probably by the time we get down here. Yeah, the door closed. I'm gonna say by the time we get down here, I'm sure he will have despawned. And he's gone. Damn you, Phoenix. I will get you. Oh, God. Explosive barrels. Watch out for those. I'll grab the health. Why not? Oh, God. Explosive barrel. Okay. Yeah, we got to be real careful about those, like, one-hit kills from the explosive barrels. Boom, boom. This level is a chaotic maze, but it is, like, oddly good at directing you as to where you need to go. So I guess what's happening is, as I save civilians, it's, like, opening up new doors and stuff. So as I come out of, like, a hallway where I just saved a civvy, then all of a sudden it's, like, there's a new place I can go that I couldn't access before. Yeah, like, right over here. Like, both of these, I think. Oh, jeez. So low on health. Come on, give me some health. There it is! There it is, baby! Health. Oh, and the health packs fill you up. This game is so generous. A for effort here. What is this? Um, oh, it's Phoenix! Oh, God, he's shooting at us. Let's get this guy. Oh, nice tr- Oh, oh, God. Oh, my God, one hit! Took off, like, a huge amount of my life. Oh, he got me. No, did we die? I think I think we died, died. I think we're screwed. Damn. So there's good old Wesley Snipes, Simon Phoenix. Scumbag extraordinaire.
All right, well, that was just a practice round. So this game only gives you a couple of a uh, couple of continues. Oh, you know what I haven't been doing is using my own grenades. Oh, I don't have any. <laughs> okay, well, that uh, that explains why I haven't been using them. You do have your own grenades in this game. I feel like the action is just so chaotic. Like, when would I have time to use my own grenade? Uh, we're gonna hop down here. Okay, like I have grenades now. Like, boom! Oh, that was so delayed. It's like not even useful. These guys are running around so fast, but the but by the time you throw a grenade at them. Oh, maybe we should have thrown one at Phoenix though. Maybe that's the, the way you win at this game. Okay, we're gonna leave that health back because we actually don't need it right now. Now that I have discovered that occasionally I do need health. Oh god, get get away, get away, get away, get away, back off, back off, back off, back off! It's like the panic button. You just fire while you're running in reverse. That's the panic shot. Take all these guys. Okay, over here. Oh, I just took a bullet. Okay, well, we will get this health because we do need it. Dudes over here. Dudes over here. Like, you know what? You just you just don't take your finger off the shoot button in this game. It's like there's just no point. You just want to always be killing everyone running towards you. I mean, thankfully, thankfully they were generous enough to not uh, let civilians get killed. <laughs> <laughs> by your shot, but imagine they did that would be that the game would be virtually impossible if that were the case Back off! Back off! Back off! Oh, he's shooting laser things at me already the Level the levels also do feel like fairly short Like not so short that uh, You know, there's nothing to him boom just save that guy Open up at point-blank range with a shotgun, but some somehow didn't hurt the city. All right. Gonna run through all this. Oh my god, there's chaos everywhere. So I guess you don't really even need to kill everyone. Like it's not necessary, really. I went back to kill that guy though. That guy really bothered me though. Oh, explosive barrel. Blow that up. The gun here. I feel like my gun just just blows people away anyway. This like, I, I guess I'm getting like a shotgun or something like that. I, I feel like it doesn't do anything. Let's throw some grenades at these guys. Okay, he, it, the grenades missed him. I, I, I find the grenades have no use. <laughs> Maybe it's just me. I don't think these grenades have any any earthly purpose. Ooh, health, that's what I wanted. But I was kind of looking for, smashing the windows here. Trying to stay at full health. Blah, 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 get out of here. I think Simon Phoenix was over there, but everything was happening so fast it's hard to tell. Okay. Ooh, we got an extra life. I will take that. Wonder why it didn't give me that last time. Maybe I wasn't do maybe I'm doing like really good somehow. Hard to tell though. Doing good and doing bad on this level look the same. Just blasting in every direction and guys dying. <laughs> good or bad. That's just what it looks like to play this level. Irrespective of your skill. I blow that guy away. Finally, we don't have to like just be unloading constantly. Oh, never mind. We have a brief lull in the action. I don't know why I took that health back. I should have saved it just in case I needed it, but we're not going back. We never go back in this level, guys. It's always going for it. All right, here we go. All right, Simon. Where are you, dude? I get this guy. Oh god, I'm almost dead. Oh my god. Oh, I think he killed his own guy. Shoot! I panicked. Okay. Jeez. Oh, he will kill his own guy. Alright, so I don't I don't even have to uh bother trying to shoot the dudes. I just have to avoid his shots. Oh my god. But I will shoot that guy. Yo. All right. This isn't too bad. Two more shots on him. I mean, it's kind of stressful because one shot and I'm dead. Oh, we got him, I think. Or the whole building blew up. We were too slow. I think we got him. I'm pretty sure that, that that's how this scene ends in the movie. Falling through a glass floor. I think. That we're loading at least. I had multiple lives, so this isn't going to be the continue screen. All right, here we go. Another action cutscene here. 
Whoa, no! Yeah, they fell through the glass floor in the movie. So they're in a museum. Basically, uh, in the future, there are no guns. And so uh, they go to a museum to steal the guns that are on display. It's pretty hilarious. Oh, you bastard. I didn't I didn't know we were playing yet. You jerk. Oh, and I fell into a thing of fire. <laughs> the 1996 excavation exhibit. All right. Well, we're doing horrible so far. We we I think I think that was a one hit kill. I think we just straight up died from the fire. But here's some grenades. Boom. Oh, we just blew apart that sign. And the bullets in this game are like actually really small. That is one complaint I have. All right, here we go. Whoa! Oh my God, I jumped into fire. Okay. The first level of this game, the name of the game was just like run as fast as you can to the right. Now, shit, I was trying to grab that r that ladder. Now it's like action platform in a very precarious, deadly scenario. All right, we're going to see if we can dig deep for this. We've already seen this cutscene. Take us to the level. Show us the fiery ruins that became Los Angeles. Los Angeles. All right. Oh, so that jump we're supposed to do. God, get out of here, both of you. No. Kill those guys. Jump over this. Kill this guy. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Now, the question is, where do we go from here? I guess we could do this. Oh, no, it's a pit! Okay. Or was it? I saw him, like, climbing out at the end. Oh, wait. Then we do, like, this? Oh, and then we go back. Okay, I got it. Okay, we're going to try and get high up and then kind of jump over most of the stage. Damn it. The jumping in this game is like, okay, but it's a tad delayed. But he does jump crazy far when you jump, so. Try and throw a grenade at this guy. Yeah! <laughs> we used uh, our brains. There we go. Kill that guy, too. All right. We're doing okay now. Oh, ouch. Blow you up. Jump! Oh, that was a good jump. Um, there you go, kill him. Oh, let's jump for that. Oh! And kill that guy, jump. Oh, shit! Ah, uh, you do take fall damage in this game, too. It's actually very deadly to be way up here. It's not advised. Is there anything over there? There's not. Okay, so we do need to climb down. Oh, huh. those guys. Oh, that guy was going to throw a grenade at me. That dick. Oh, God. Okay, that didn't kill me. I'm like on edge here. Hey, there's underwear. There's old dirty underwear in the museum exhibit. Oh, you bastard. You jerk. Oh, tell me it isn't so. I'm pretty sure we're dead. Simon says you lose. Okay, you only get so many continues, which seemingly would be the end of our little journey here. But I actually want to see more of this game, so I have a little secret for you guys. Call the level select code. I want to go back to that level we were just on. I feel like I can beat it. And you know, you know that feeling when you're playing a game, you're like, I can totally beat that. So we're going to go ahead and give it another shot, starting from there. So here's the level select code on the uh, Sega CD. A, C, up, right, left. And you heard, you heard that action explosion. We go into the options menu now. We have a couple of options, mainly the level that we start on. So we'll start there. No spoilers. We won't look ahead. Um, interesting. There's a difficulty setting. Should we tone it down a little bit so we can get further? I mean, we have a level select code. I say let's leave it on crazed because it wasn't that difficult. Total demolition. Let's leave it on crazed and we'll just sort of see how this goes. And we can always, uh, you know, we can always tone it down if the later levels get too hard for us. So one thing with these old video games is they very frequently 
did not want to give you infinite continues. Very frequently, it was like you had two or three continues, and that was it. So, I kind of feel like cheating by giving yourself a level select code, but going back to level you died on, it's not really cheating in my opinion, it's just giving yourself infinite continues. Which, is, I, I mean, I guess technically it's cheating, but... I, I'm willing to let that one go, personally. I don't- it doesn't keep me up at night. Um... You know, it's just, it's very different from giving yourself, like, infinite health or something like that. Something that you can't actually get uh, in the game legitimately. Boom. Oh, shoot. Man, we're so close to dying. If we can just get that health pack, though, everything will be okay. Oh, you bastards! Where's my infinite health code? Come here, you jerks. Kill all these guys. Alright, well, whatever. What is over that way, I wonder? Oh, shoot. <laughs> Gotta get myself killed. I'm just curious. What is this? Hey, a guy came out of the window there. It is grenades. It is, they're like fire grenades, and I fell to my death. Son of a bitch. Well, this is going great. Oh, God. Bullet to the back. All right. Let's just go forward. See if we can uh, pass this. Oh, my God. All these guys. I think we should have turned the difficulty down, son of a bitch. Well, there goes one continue. We're already a continue down. Yes, continue. Let's just pretend that was a practice round. We gotta at least get to see Simon again on this level, and then I'll skip it. We'll, we'll check another level out. Um, apparently there's two or three top-down levels. So, actually, I really like the museum level, the one we just did. I would be okay with more top-down levels, so I would like to see these other top-down levels if we can, if we can uh, find them. Apparently, there's also a driving level too. Damn it! Kill all these guys! Die! 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 Everyone die! All right. Now, if you guys could stop spawning for just a minute, it'd be really cool. Oh my God! I just killed you! All right, there we go. We got health. This guy, too. Gun. Oh, you bastard. The endlessly respawning bad guys. You son of a bitch. That is ridiculous. Oh, my God. Get out of here. That is ridiculous. He blocked my jump. Oh, son of a bitch. What am I doing? I... I... <laughs> so, here's one trouble. It's like... I'm trying to, like, jump up, but his, his, like, horizontal jump is, like, too powerful. Oh, my God. It happened again. Like, in order to jump up, you can't press up or anything. You just have to, like, literally stand still. I'm, like, screwing up the, uh, screwing up the jumps. All right, let's just climb down here. Oh, there's, there was health down here. Cool. Jump! Blow this guy away. Blow these guys away. This thing. I'm down. Get out of here! Simon Phoenix is like right around here. Like right around here. Somewhere. Where are ya? I think he, maybe he was like right over here. Oh yeah, by the dirty underwear. Uh, we scared him away. Oh, there's an extra life too. Yeah. Oh, maybe when you shoot Phoenix, he drops extra lives? Is that it? Good thing we got that extra life. Damn. Or are we just dead? Wasn't that an extra life, or was that like an extra continue? Okay, hold on. Let's try and shoot Phoenix. Because he's at the beginning of this level, I think. I'm just tapping the shoot button, waiting. Boom, boom, boom. Oh yeah, he totally drops an extra life or something. Okay. So, hey, what the? I did like a reverse jump there. That extra life is totally going to be despawned by the time I get over to it. Like, there's no way. Oh, we fell in fire. Oh, my God. So much for an extra life. I apologize, guys. This must be very hard to watch. All right, you know what? If we die again, we're skipping this level. This level is uh, too challenging for me. The first level was like so kind. It was like, you know what? Run in any direction you want and shoot in any direction and you will kill a guy and it'll be great. Now they're like, psych, now you actually have to have platforming skills. 
You ain't going nowhere. This guy. Oh god. Another thing that is kind of annoying is that if you're moving and you press shoot, you kind of will run and shoot. But if you're standing still and you shoot, you're, you're stationary. So it's like sometimes a little tricky to like actually uh, shoot people at a diagonal a uh, angle because I end up running towards them. What killed me there? There's C4 barrel that I shot myself. Oh god. Yeah, it's like, it's it's kind of weird, it's kind of wonky. It's like the controls aren't the worst I've ever experienced, but it's like they definitely sometimes result in you taking damage and getting killed when you you know that you didn't want to do the thing your character just did. That's the most frustrating thing I find in video games, when you're trying to make your character do X and they do Y, and you're like, son of a bitch. I didn't want you to jump in that pit. Why did you jump in that pit? Anyway. All right, here we go. No more unnecessary damage, starting now. Alright, dirty underwear part. Diamond Phoenix. He drops that. What is that? An extra life, I think. I think. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what a life is in this game or anything. Trash can down there. What is that? Health. Okay. Well, get out of here. Bastard. So what What other levels are there going to be in this game? I, I hope there's a Taco Bell level. That's all I want. You know what? If there's a Taco Bell level, it doesn't matter how much more of the game we see. That is sufficient for me. He okay, shot me in the butt. Oh, that guy threw a grenade at me. Oh, and he launched me into a pit. That's not cool, dude. Ow. Anything over here? Oh, this is where we died. How are we at half health? We just started. Die. It, it would also be nice if the bullets in this game were just a little bigger. Okay. Well, whatever. We. Oh, shoot! That was stupid! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, well, officially, I think we have to level skip this level. Uh, let's see what the next level is like here. All right, enough of the stupid sub museum. Next, we would have the parking lot. Let's just see if there's a Taco Bell level. I want to see a level that says Taco Bell. So the parking lot, that might be the parking lot of the Taco Bell, actually. The monorail, the library, the zip line, the wasteland, the pipe maze. I don't know what any of those are, but we're totally playing the cryo prison. We'll try a few more of these. So let's let's start the parking lot. See if I can make it out of the parking lot alive, and if so, we'll see a few levels, and we'll just kind of go from there. And I think I will turn the difficulty down a bit, just to give us a shot. Uh, museum, parking lot, that's what we want. All right. Let's see if uh, we can have a nice, calm, relaxing evening in a parking lot, if armored thugs are going to come bo bother us. Oh, that was awesome. Welcome to Auto Park. I don't recognize this scene from the movie. Are they in a parking lot? Oh, what is that? They're gonna drop a car on me? What is happening? Oh, they did! I even knew it was coming, and I didn't do anything to stop it. Oh, those are guys? Interesting. I have no idea where we are. I know at one point, we go underground. Oh god, the foreground and background on this level are just, like, identical. I can't tell them apart. Um, I know at one point we go underground, uh, and we try and get Mr. Friendly. Edgar Friendly, I think. And he has a car. He has a cool car that we borrow. That leads to a high-speed chase. Oh, God. What happened? Um, okay, where do I go? Oh, there's a platform over there. It's so hard to see. I would appreciate, like, a little bit of... There's, like, body armor there. I want that stuff. <sighs> okay, hold on. Oh, yeah, here comes the body armor. Ooh, now we're... Oh, now we're, we got future tech on us. Okay, we just fell down, but that's okay. Um, yeah, I don't I don't recall a parking lot specifically, though. Interesting. Maybe there's a scene I'm forgetting. Maybe they made it up for the game. I mean, that's... It's not too unbelievable to think that maybe they made something up for the game. It's a pretty common tact of uh, game developers. That guy was just hiding behind explosive barrels. That was a 
poor choice in hiding spot. Same with those guys. And you guys need to choose your cover better. Oh god, they're dropping cars on me. Get out of here! We, I think we would be dead if we didn't turn this on calm. Oh god, look how lo low I am on health. That guy... Oh shoot! Oh, I somehow lived. Again, if this had not been on calm, I'm pretty sure I'd be dead by now. Maybe we have a chance of passing this level. Up. Oh, here comes the car. Oh, somehow we survived. We're, we're like by the edge, skin of our teeth. Now we're dead. And they dropped a car on us for good measure. They're like, just drop a car on him. Sylvester Stallone's a cool guy, but I don't know if he, he could stand a car landing on him. Just saying. Oh, there's like an extra life in there, too. Oh, we got it. Or it, are, are those extra lives? I don't even know. Yeah, I am. Oh, God. Well, I guess we'll find out. That thing exploded on us. Got that thing. Where are we supposed to go? Like, I don't know how to get up. Oh, I just took damage. Oh, God. Oh, we fell like a thousand miles down. Uh, don't you love these levels that you have to, like, climb your way up? But if you happen to screw up and fall, you go... Oh, God! <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, uh... I was gonna give up, but not anymore. We'll try it. We'll, we'll try. We'll make a little effort here. Um, but man, uh, that, that does suck to, like, have climbed all the way up and then fall all the way back down the level. Like, we have to do this all over again. Doing things you've already done is really annoying. In video games and in life. Like, if you've already done something, you're just like, I don't want to do it again. Don't make me. Right, you get out of here. Okay, actually, I don't think... I think this is new. Yeah, this does seem new. Oh. Can we blow up this arm? I don't know. It might be the boss. I think it totally is the boss, actually. I don't know how to kill it. We throw grenades at it? Oh, I understand. It has a little sensitive spot, that little red dot, right after it drops a car. Then you can sort of go in and damage it. I gotcha. Okay, so this is a boss. All right, come on. Show me what you got. Car dropping machine. Oh, it's, it has lasers! This car dropping machine has lasers. Get out of here. Oh, it, it just evap- it, it kills you in one hit. Jeez. Okay, one more shot. Yeah! We killed a car- we killed a garage, guys. We killed a futuristic parking garage. Eat that, Simon Phoenix. We spent all afternoon programming that car garage for evil. And we just went in and screwed it up in 10 minutes. Hey, we passed another level finally. Be well, John Spartan. You murdered 58 people. Congratulations. MDK. MDK. Criminals are destroying cars. Disable the car stacking crane. Wait, didn't I just do that? Is that the level I just completed? Are they or are, 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 are they doing more car destruction? Wait, what? Wait, there's two parking levels? Uh, didn't I just do this? Okay, hold on. In the spirit of not repeating ourselves, uh, let's just jump to another level here. I do like how they pg 13 ified Simon Phoenix. Like in the movie, he's literally murdering people. And in the game here, they're like, he's destroying automobiles. We gotta stop him. This kind of chaos. We can't have this in the 2030s. Totally not cool, man. You can't just go around destroying other people's property. That's a crime. Anyway, all right. Here's our handy level select code. AC. A-C-U-R-L. Go to options. Okay, so the parking lot was a bus. That was no Taco Bell parking lot, I'll tell you that. 
monorail, the library, the zip line, the wasteland. I don't think there's a Taco Bell level. I'm beginning to think there isn't a Taco Bell level here. What a ripoff. Um, all right, let's, uh, all right, let's monorail, library, zip line, wasteland, pipe maze. Okay, let's give the monorail a shot. So apparently the monorail, you're on a train, obviously. Apparently the library is another top down level. I just looked it up real quick. Um, and then Zipline, Wasteland, and Pipe Maze are all kind of like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles underground levels. So we're going to try Monorail, Library. Maybe I'll pass Monorail and get to Library legitimately, but if not, we'll still give it a shot. Then we'll try one of the underground levels and then the Cryo Prison. So um, we have a few more exciting levels to see. Oh, did I turn it on Casual? It is on Casual. All right, there we go. Or Calm, I guess. Nice, calm series of... Explosions. I don't know. Demolition man. Demolishing them in a nice calm way. Alright, these guys have gotten onto a train. But wait, can I jump up there or no? Okay. Am I shooting those guys? I can't tell. Alright, this is an interesting level because the foreground actually totally obscures what's behind it, making it hard to see what you're doing. Can I jump out here? Almost? What is happening? <laughs> I kind of want to be on the top of this monorail because being inside is actually too confusing. Is this a solid wall? Okay, we can't hurt each other there. An interesting level. Uh, where am I? I, I don't even know how to... <laughs> I guess I do need to get on this, the roof somehow. Okay, hold on. Maybe I could... I was sort of climbing over here. Maybe I can, like... Oh, there we go. Blow my way out. There, now we're cooking. Oh, the... Oh, you have to watch out for these, like, monorail things. Interesting. Oh, and in, in back in we go. Okay. Interesting level. Uh, this is kind of cool. Sort of like, uh... You know, going in and out of this monorail thingy. I kind of wish there was not so much crap in the foreground, because it is, it is hard to see, like... Kind of what's going on with the level, but... Uh, I guess you get used to it if you play this enough. There we go. Boom. All right. Climb on out, John Spartan. Be sure to duck when necessary. Let's skip this, uh, this particular- Oh, God! There's two of them! Oh, but I made it through. Oh, we, we, we never rolled. I wonder if you could roll past these. Oh, God. Go, go, go. It's a trap! We're supposed to go in! We're supposed to go in! Oh, the rolling actually saved me. All right, so I guess when you have the option of going in the monorail, it's like you better go in the monorail. Oh, son of a bitch. I fell in. Does that count? Will I be there when I die? Oh, God. I'm not very good at dodging those things. Hey, there's an extra life down there. Oh, what, what's happening? There's a guy in my way. Move! I got electro electrocuted to death. I got vaporized because there was a dude. Couldn't see him. Because the lights went out. Oh god, move, 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 move! Out of the way, man! You're gonna get us all killed! Where am I? Can I go this way? Uh, as if as if stuff in the foreground wasn't bad enough. Now it's like you can't even see lights. Can we go over this? What? What is going on here? Where am I? I think I'm on the ladder somehow. Okay. Oh, there's an exit right up here. All right, boom! Got out of that nightmare of a train. Oh, God, duck. It just rolled. Roll! That was a very delayed roll. It was only purely for show, because by the time I did it, it didn't matter. Oh! Electrocuted to death. Guys, I don't think we're passing this monorail level. I'm beginning to think that we're not going to pass this level. Oh, God. Okay, jump! Jump, there you go. John Spartan, if you could climb out of this monorail, I would greatly appreciate it, dude. Roll, roll, roll. Hey, look, he's kind of doing, like, body checks. Oh, God, oh, God, get in there! Man, they're not messing around. When they give you a chance to go in, like, you better go in. Oh, my God! The timing of these things, is it just random? Oh, we're back here. All right, this is probably like our last shot. Funny how we're playing this level on calm and it's like, 
super stressing me out. God, duck and roll. Blow our way in here. The nice thing is that we have infinite ammo. Oh god, I fell for it again! Twice in a row! Died the same spot. Alright. Well, that was the monorail level. Alright, enough hopping on trains. Let's hop into the library here and get another, another top-down action level. I feel like the top-down levels... I almost kind of wish this game had more, more top-down levels and less side-scrolling levels. This seems pretty cool. I like the look and feel of this. I feel. I also feel like... So in the... Uh, oh, there's like laser things shooting at us too. In the uh, in the monorail level and stuff, it wasn't so much the case, but this game has like a lot of like deadly drops and like one-hit kills. There's not really anything that will one-hit kill you in a top-down level like this, except I guess guys' grenades. I kind of wish they just didn't have one-hit kills in this game. I find one-hit kills in video games tend to not be as fun as not having one hit kills like maybe it's just me um i think that just opened the door so yeah so for these levels you totally need to rescue civilians and then eventually it will like open up a door so i don't think we've been here before there's also two kinds of bad guys i'm noticing there's like the stationary ones that have guns and grenades and stuff and then there's just guys chasing with billy clubs it's pretty amusing um yeah, it's like, like, one one class of henchmen, they get to, like, set up and, like, choose their location, and, like, there's a health pack up there, I see it, but I don't need it yet. We'll save it in case we need it. Um, but yeah, one class of, uh, bad guy gets to sort of, like, set up his, uh, where he's gonna ambush you, and the other guy just has to, like, run at you with a billy club. Boom, boom, boom! Civilians, man, try and, like, run for cover. When I burst into a room, guns a-blazing. You guys could like dodge or run or do something to try to protect yourselves. Oh, there we go. We just got help. <laughs> the gang of dudes chase me. All right, who wants some? Come and get some. Yeah. Is the game slowing down or is it just me? I kind of noticed like a bit of a slowdown here. Like the old school, like the, you know, the Sega Genesis couldn't handle it. There's too much happening on the screen. Um, well, here's a guy to save. I like how we can blow apart the library bit. So I don't, I don't even know, like, is this scene in the movie too? It's interesting, the first couple levels made it, oh geez, what killed me? First couple levels made it seem like they were really following the movie closely. Oh god, there's stuff everywhere. I'm totally dead, aren't I? Save this guy! At least I went down saving a civilian. Oh my god, we're dead! We're dead. Okay, let's try this level a little bit more, just because I really do like the, these top-down levels. But the game's getting very challenging. We're playing on the easier difficulty, too. <laughs> Enhance your calm. That's how they would tell people to chill out in the future. I like that. Enhance your calm. Criminals are destroying books. Oh, no, they're destroying cars. What the hell? So if you use the cheat code to skip ahead, then when you continue... You always go back to this car level. Seems, uh, I guess it's like, it's like a way for the developers to punish you for having cheated. But, oh, that, uh, did that car, did a dude just fall out of that car? Interesting. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's jump back ahead to the top down level here. Enhance your calm, bro. I want to say that to somebody. Who can I say it to? I want to like... <laughs> It feels kind of insulting. Even chill out is kind of insulting. Like if you're angry and someone's like, hey man, chill out. But it's not that insulting. But enhance your calm. That's pretty insulting. Let's try total demolition and just see. I'm just out of curiosity. I mean, we're not going to pass the library, clearly. The game very rapidly became so hard that we're not going to beat it. L like legitimately. We'll take a look at the underground and at the cryo prison. Because I'm curious. Curious to see these levels. Imagine I could beat this game on this level of difficulty. Boom, boom. I think you'd have to like really take your time here. But maybe we should do that. Maybe we maybe we can. Maybe we can prove everyone wrong. The one who doubted me. Which is probably just you guys. So I'm gonna prove you guys wrong. How dare you doubt me? See, look at this. We have full health. 
doing fine. We're doing fine. We're, we're soaking up a few more bullets than I would like, but we're doing okay generally. This game is an awesome soundtrack, too. Okay, we're gonna leave that health in case we need it. Although I feel like coming back for it is like a death wish. Love that. Oh my god, what got us? Oh, and it's game over! <laughs> game over. Seriously, you lose. And it's just like, that's it. No more chances. Okay, so in the harder difficulty, not only do you die faster, but you really have no continues. All right, just to say we did, we're going to check out an underground level. So, how about Wasteland? Sounds good to me. We'll go find Edgar Friendly. He's going to help us. Who is it actually, like Jeff Foxworthy or something? Not Jeff Foxworthy. It's uh, the guy who looks like him. Forget his name. Boom, boom. They eat like rat burgers and stuff down here. Yeah, there's, there's like laser guns and stuff. This is an advanced underground society here. Built right under the Taco Bell, if I remember the movie correctly, because they pop out from the sewers under Taco Bell. Oh, what killed me? What killed me? My own passion? Hey, you want to rent some videos? Because they got them here. If you're in the mood to watch a movie, these guys have some old 90s flicks. They have the Mario Brothers movie. <laughs> Wasn't that a great movie? Oh, it killed me again! Okay, that's okay. I didn't really want to play that level. I just I just wanted to say that we looked at it. Yeah, 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 we lost. All right, let's check out the cryo prison. And we're going to turn the difficulty back down to calm. Because let, let's face it, guys, it's too hectic for us. We need a nice calm game. Calm cryo prison game. It's too bad that when you die, you always go back to the car park level. I guess it was so, so, uh... So bad that they were destroying cars that we just, they always want to send you back to stop them, but... Anyway, here are other prisoners being frozen. Or that, not being frozen, that are frozen. It's kind of, kind of crazy sci-fi-ish. Blow up that. Ooh, what is that? Oh, ice bombs! Oh my god, we froze a guy! That is cool. Oh, we ice bombed uh, Simon Phoenix, too. We got an extra life out of him for doing that. Hold on. We gotta ice bomb these guys. Oh, we're wasting them. Oh shh! I just fell to my death. Oh, even here, like uh, the bad guy. Shh! Are you serious? Okay. What's the jump button? There we go. <laughs> What's the jump button? Oh, he froze me. That. You know what? I I want to be mad, but that was actually pretty cool. That was pretty badass. So I will accept it. This is this level is like actually pretty crazy with the freezing mechanic. Sub Zero would be right feel right at home. Okay. Who uses bullets when you have cryogenic guns available, man? It's just uncreative. Oh god, the turret, the turret! Oh yeah, I forgot we're playing on like a lower difficulty. I don't die in like two hits. Yeah, that guy's dead. Who can we freeze? What is this? Oh, I got armor. I think. I jump over here. Cool! Alright, guys. Enough of these shenanigans. Oh, we can freeze this guy. Um. Guess not. <laughs> oh, we're out of freezing bullets. He just Look, he just throws nothing. He's like flipping the guy off. <laughs> when you run out of weapons. John Spartan just gets incredibly surly. I want to freeze more guys, damn it. Give me... Give me more... What the... What killed me? Give me more freezing grenades. I need to satisfy my urge to cryogenically freeze my opponents. Yes. Alright. Uh... The problem is there's too many platforms. We need, like, a nice big open ground. And then we need bad guys to be there. Like that! Like this guy. Oh, somehow that killed us! We did a ninja flip in the air as we died. Okay, all right, guys. Yes! Aw, oh, too bad he doesn't, like, shatter into a million pieces when you freeze him. That'd be so cool. Oh, more guys! Shoot Simon Phoenix! Dropped an extra life. Interesting how you have to shoot Phoenix to get a life. <laughs> 
I don't have to freeze those guys, but it's just way more fun to. Oh yeah, another guy. Yes! <laughs> oh, I am so happy they put that in the game. It's just kind of sad that like you have to get to the end game before you even see it. I mean, I know it doesn't make sense to have cryogenic weapons earlier in the game. Oh, just like in the movie. Wait, how do I? Oh, I think I got him. Or no, I didn't. Oh God, how do I, how do I? He keeps hitting me. Oh, do I, do I like throw a grenade? Oh, I froze him. Can I kick his head off? That's what they do in the movies. Oh, this thing is like taking damage. I think I just have to keep shooting it. Oh yeah, there you go. Okay, shoot, 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 shoot. Ah, oh, we need more cryogenic stuff. I think these guys are dropping them. We're about to die. Huh. Oh, we broke it and we died. <laughs> Interesting. All right, I, th I think that is the last level boss. You can believe it. Oh. We have to like freeze this thing and then... How do you get away from it though? Okay, it's dead. Now what do we do? Oh God. Oh, we got frozen. Okay, hold on. I got this. Oh, I got frozen, damn it. This is actually kind of a tough fight. Oh god. Oh my god. Okay, I'm not 100% sure what to do there. Oh, we have an extra life. We get to keep trying. Okay, so there's that thing. We just like run away. Oh, we got it. There we go. Yes. Keep giving me all your sweet, sweet power ups. Get. It's actually like hard to hit that thing. There we go. Ah. There we go. Man, how many shots does it take? Oh, it has a health bar, I think. Ugh. Oh, we got it. I think we got it. It's going to go smash Simon Phoenix. Oh, God. How are we supposed to do this part? Oh, interesting. He's trying to freeze us. We, we can't shoot him through that. What do we actually do here? Interesting. All right. Huh. Well, he, he can freeze us. Yeah, he freezes us and laughs at us. <sighs> Does that even do damage to us? I guess so. Once he jumps, we'll hit him. No, that doesn't do anything. Get down here and fight me! I have no idea how to even damage this guy, so I guess we're just gonna lose this fight. Um, I froze myself and killed myself. Oh, he's doing a victory dance. Okay, I think what you're supposed to do is kind of like hang out right here shooting. And yeah, like... Oh no, he just dropped the thing. Hold on. I wasn't at the right spot. Yeah, hang out like right here shooting. And when he jumps... Oh, there you go. You hit him. Although you're not supposed to do like I do and just immediately jump into his weapon. You just shoot like this. There we go. That's how you get him? Interesting. Oh, he froze us somehow. The interesting thing is he still has full health. Is this even gonna hurt him? It's kind of a crappy boss fight, to be totally honest. It's like way too... It's simultaneously way too hard and way too easy. 
that makes any sense. Like, it's hard and, uh, like, it's ridiculous to hit this guy. But then once you know his pattern, is kind of trivial. Like, I do keep hitting him. He still has full life, so... I don't know what that's about. We just throw grenades at him. Oh, there we go. Ah, didn't matter. Maybe, maybe I was shooting him, but it was like that wasn't the key. The key is to like freeze him. Oh my god, he's totally gonna kill us now, isn't he? And we're dead. All right, well, I thought I was damaging him, but I guess not. I guess you have to like freeze him and then attack him. Like, if I continue here, am I gonna be at him? I don't think so. I think I have to go through the whole level again. Anyway, this has been Demolition Man. It was a game that just looked kind of cool. I just discovered it randomly watching a YouTube video the other day, and I was like, I like Demolition Man. I feel like playing something that reminds me of the 90s, and hence this game. I will say, I'm as hard as this game is, I'm not disappointed. I feel like, uh, you know, you'd have to get good at this game uh, in order to beat it. And even this last level here, I mean, we made it to Simon Phoenix. So if you can get through the other levels, if you learn them, you can easily get to the final guy. It's just a matter of figuring out his pattern, figuring out how to beat him. It has something to do with freezing him, I'm sure. Oh god, we just died. Um, I'm certain it has something to do with freezing him. Because that's what it did in the movie. Oh god, we died again. Anyway, so we're, we're not going to see him die. We're not going to see him die today, but uh, what do you guys think of Demolition Man here? Is it a game that looks kind of fun or funky to you? Do you guys have any memories of playing this one? Do you know how to beat Simon Phoenix? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. And also, do you like Demolition Man? Is it a movie that brings you nostalgic feels, gives you the urge to eat Taco Bell, all that stuff? Um, if so, let me know that too. Um, anyway, guys, it has been... Oh, what? How do we die from fall damage when we have mega armor? What is fall damaging me? Is it you, you a-hole? Oh, we still fall damage. I was gonna say, is it that guy who's like blocking our jump? I think it is. There was like one jerk there, and now that he's dead... Yeah, look at that. It was that guy all along. Some jerk on the monkey bars was blocking it for the rest of us. And we weren't able to, uh... Weren't able to, to uh, you know, do our thing. Oh god, are we at the boss already? This is the boss, isn't it? Okay, fine. Let's, uh... Let's see if we can figure this out. Uh, no. Shoot him! Damn it. Okay, we froze him. God, it didn't do anything. What the? He dropped a cryogenics canister up there. That helps no one. Alright, we're dead. Alright, we get one more shot at this. Look, he drops a, a cryogenic canister, but it's way up there. I can't even get to it. Alright, so you have to do something with freezing him. I don't friggin' know, guys. This boss fight is not designed very well. I will say that. Look, he dropped another canister. I can't even get to it. Gone. <laughs> Screw this boss fight, eh? Like, this is ridiculous. Anyway, guys, I hope this game brought you a lot of nostalgia. John Spartan here is just fed up. He's going nuts. He's like, screw this, man. This isn't fair at all. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, guys, I hope you had fun. Uh, if you did, uh, drop a like and subscribe, all that junk. I will see you guys next time. All right, guys. Peace. Oh man, seriously, screw this boss fight. You shit for violations of the verbal morality statute. So much for the seashells.